So hi there guys and welcome to today's video. Now I've had a lot of requests to make this video on installing and setting up the excellent PVR sonar. This will allow you to manage, monitor and download all of your TV shows. Now let's get started. So guys, just before I start, I want to apologise for dropping off the sonar. Oh, I mean dropping off the radar. Okay, not funny. But seriously though, sorry there was no video last week and I've been absent on the Unraid forums and a bit late in replying to comments on the channel. Work has just been crazy hectic as late and as a result I've had no free evenings or weekends. But things are back to normal now, so expect loads more tutorials every week. So right, sonar. What is it? It's similar to Sickbeard or Sickrage. In my opinion, Sonar is the best of these, all of which are PVRs for TV shows. So Sonar will monitor all the TV shows that you've already downloaded. It will find and download any missing episodes that may be missing from your TV shows and also download new episodes as they're aired. Now, as normal with these kind of media tutorials, I have to say my normal boring disclaimer. Yes, Sonar will download any show you want, but if you download a show that you don't already own the box set for, etc, then you're probably breaking copyright law. So only download what you have the right to do so. Okay? Good. Right, so with that out of the way, let's look at what we're going to need to get this working. Sonar doesn't download things itself. It sends what it wants to be downloaded to a download client. So, you're either going to need a client that downloads NZBs from Usenet, and in this tutorial I'm going to be using Sab NZBD, or you're going to need a torrent downloader such as Deluge. Now you'll find other tutorials on the channel which will show you how to set up either Sab or Deluge. Now I highly recommend using Usenet as opposed to torrents for many reasons and I'll probably go into why in a future video. So as well as a download client we're also going to need something called an indexer. So what's an indexer? Well basically it's a website which indexes either Usenet or torrents. Sonar queries these to find the episodes that we want to download and then it sends them to the download client. So that's what we need for Sonar to run. And many people will have a media server such as Plex or MB to serve these files to various media endpoints around the home. So let's get started setting this up. Okay, so we're going to run Sonar in a Docker container. So in Community Applications, go to the Apps tab here on your server. Now if you don't see the Apps tab, then go to the LimeTech forums and just scroll down to Application Support and then go to Plugin Support. There you'll see the post community applications. Click onto it, scroll down and just copy this line here. Go back across to your server, go onto plugins and then click install plugin and just paste that line into here and click install. Then after having done that, you'll see that there's gonna be an apps tab up here. Okay, so back to Sonar. So on the apps tab, just type in the search for Sonar and you can see there's a few different containers here. Now the one I'm going to use is the Binhex container here. Now many people ask why I always use Binhex as containers and why not say Linux servers containers? Well both are excellent and you can use either. Well I like Binhex as VPN containers for Deluge and Sab and I started using them way back. Also I like the fact that they're based on an Arch container image. I think it's really good practice where possible to use containers from the same author and this is because they'll have similar mappings. So let's go across to my main server and I'll show you what I mean. And you can see here that I have six of Binhex's containers. And if we go across to where the mappings are, we can see for both Deluge and Sab that the download shares are mapped to forward slash data. And this is also the same for all the other containers as well. And you can also see where any media is mapped, it's always mapped to forward slash media. So by sticking to where possible the same author, your mappings are going to be the same. Now if I use the Linux server container here, even though it's an excellent container, you can see here that the download path is going to be mapped to forward slash downloads and the media path is going to be mapped to forward slash TV. So it's much easier 
for me to have everything consistent and the same to have everything working correctly. So just click here to install the container and now we just need to fill out the template. And the first thing we need to do is fill out the forward slash data path and that's going to point to our downloads folder. So for me that's in user downloads and then next we have to fill out the path to our media um, so that's where our TV shows are held. So for me that's in media and then TV shows. Okay so that's the mapping complete so scroll down to the bottom of the page and press apply and that will pull down the container. Okay so once the container has been pulled down just click on to done and then just go back across to the docker tab and now we can see that sonar is running so let's click onto sonar and then go to web UI. Okay and the first thing that we're greeted with is a message saying that we must be new around here and we should add some series. Well we are new around here and we should add the series that we may already have downloaded and to do that we just click on to add series and then you can see here it says import existing series on disk. We want to click onto that. Now we go across here to this blue button and click on the browse and now if we go down here and scroll down we can see where it says media. Now that's what we mapped across to our TV shows earlier. So we need to click onto that and you can see I've got three shows already in here. I've got Black Sales, Breaking Bad and Dexter. So we don't click on any of those, we just click OK here and then we just click onto the tick here. And now all of the shows that are in that folder should show up here. And what we need to do is just we need to click on the plus for each one to add it into the database of Sonar and then Sonar can monitor these shows. Okay, but one thing to note before we go on that all your TV shows should be in separate folders that are named with the show title. And obviously inside each folder you should have all the episodes and it's best that they're named correctly. Now if your TV show directory is a bit of a mess and you want to try and tidy it up a bit then I suggest using a program called Filebot and this is available for Windows, Mac and Linux and it's a really great program that will rename your files correctly um, and if you want to download it for free then go across to swordforce.net forward slash projects forward slash Filebot and there you'll be able to find it available for Windows, Mac and Linux. Download, Download that and if your existing TV shows are a bit of a mess, you can just use that to rename them correctly, ready for Sonar. Okay, so now our series are imported into Sonar. If we click onto Series, we can see the shows that we have added here. Okay, so now we need to go across to the settings here and click onto this. And one of the useful things Sonar can do is it can rename episodes as it downloads them. So I suggest clicking this onto Yes and just leaving everything else as default. Okay, so next we want to go across to Profiles. This shows the profiles that you can set for shows for the quality that Sonar will download that particular show. So we have everything from any here all the way up to Ultra HD. Now we can edit and we can create new profiles here. So let's click on the any and edit this one. Here, all of the formats that are ticked, Sonar will look for and download anything it finds for this show that matches these qualities. Now, a very important setting is the cutoff. Now, whatever quality is set here, the quality for which when Sonar has found an episode of at least that quality, it will then not bother looking for any higher quality shows than that. So here, it's set for SDTV. So when it finds a quality of that, it's going to say, well, job done. Well, I want Sonar to keep looking until it finds at least an HD 720 before it's considered complete. So I'm going to set mine onto Blu-ray 720p. And so now what Sonar will do, it will download anything it can find for this show, but it will keep looking until it's got the complete show at 720p Blu-ray. Okay, so now let's move on to quality. Here we can see the same quality types as we did in the profiles. This is where we can set the file size minimums and maximums for files that Sonar will search for. And we do this by moving the slider. Now you can see here there's two separate numbers and that's because one is for a 30 minute episode and one is for a 60 minute episode. So for SDTV I wouldn't really want anything that's 2 gigs. I'm going to set that right the way down so an hour episode isn't any bigger than 1.61 gigs. 
and so if you want to you can go through all of these and set your minimum and maximum file sizes for the different types of downloads. Okay next, indexes. Here is where we add our indexing sites to Sonar so it can perform searches. So we just have to click onto the plus. Here we have the option to add both Usenet indexes and torrent indexes. I'm only going to add Usenet myself and for that I'm going to click onto the custom here. First we need to give it a name and I'm going to be adding NZB Geek. Next we need to add the URL. Then we need to add the API key and hopefully this time in this video I'll remember to edit this out so I don't leave it in. And once we've put all of this in we just need to click onto the test and if all goes well we'll see it says testing NZB Geek succeeded. Now if you're not sure where to get this information from on the indexing site you'll normally find it under your profile. So once you've tested it and it's OK, just click onto the save. Now I would suggest adding more than one indexer so you can have better search results. Right, so now we need to add a download client. So we need to click on the plus. Again, we can add Usenet clients or torrent clients. Now I'm going to use SabNCBD. And first we need to give it a name. And here where it says host, we can't leave it as localhost. Although it's on our server, it's in a different Docker container, so we need to specify our server's local IP address and port number. And the port number will be 8080, unless you've changed it in the container at all. And next we need to put in the API key. And in SAB, this can be found in the configuration under the General tab. And here's the API key. Okay, so let's just paste that in here. And if we put an API key in, we don't need to bother with the username and password. So let's just click on to test. And it says testing to SAB succeeded. So now we can click on to save. Okay, so some of you out there are obviously going to be using torrents. So you just click on to the plus and you can click on to say deluge for example. Again, we have to give it a name. And again, we have to give it the local IP address. And here we have to give it the password for Deluge and then just click on to test and it says testing Deluge succeeded so now we know we can press save. Okay so now I've got a Usenet client and a torrent client so before we go any further I'm just going to go back to profiles here and if we scroll to the bottom of the page we can see here we've got a protocol to prefer to use Usenet. If you click on the little spanner here and click edit you can change this so if you have both Torrent and Usenet clients, you can either prefer Torrents or you can prefer Usenet and you can like and you can click only Usenet and only Torrent. Right, so as I'm not using Torrents, I'm going to actually disable the Deluge client. Okay, so on to the next tab. Let's go on to Connect. Here we can click onto the plus and we can add various notifications to things such as the Plex Media Server and to notification things such as pushover and push bullet. And if we click onto metadata, I never enable any of these because my MB server just picks up all the metadata anyway itself. And if we click onto general, we can leave all of this as it is. Um, don't go bother changing any of this here at all. And lastly, if we click onto UI, everything here too, you can leave it as it is, um, but you can change things such as the calendar, a day of the week start, either a Sunday or a Monday and the date format etc. Okay so that's all of our settings now completed. Now if we click onto system we can check here where it says health it says there's no issues with the configuration and if we click onto updates here we can see here the version of Sonar that we're running and next we can click onto tasks and here there's various things that we can run. After setting up Sonar I recommend on clicking on execute housekeeping especially if you've added in especially if you've added a lot of your own TV shows Okay, so now let's click back on to series. And here we can see all of the series that we've actually already got. Um, here we can click on add series and we can start typing the name of a series that we want to download onto the server. And as you can see here, there's various different settings we can use when we add this. We can tell it to monitor any missing files that we don't have. We can have it monitor everything, future, existing, first season, latest season and nothing at all. And for profile, it's on any at the moment. So if you remember, we 
edited the any one so it will download anything it can find and work its way up to 720p but here if I wanted to I could just set it for HD 1080p so basically it will just download at that profile there and for the series type we can have it on standard or daily or anime and here where it says season folders this is where we can put it on yes or no um, when it has season folders inside the folder of the series it will create seasons so there'll be season one season two season three etc and if we have this as no then all of the episodes will be in one folder so once we've chosen how we want this to be we can just click onto the plus and now we can click onto series and we can see now that Game of Thrones is at the bottom here and it tells us here how many episodes we've got of that show we've got naught out of 65 all these other shows here are complete so if we click on to Game of Thrones we can see here this is the most recent season season 7 at the top and it tells us all of the names of the various episodes if we look at season 1 we can click on here and show the various episodes and there's icons at the side here there's the automatic search that will automatically search for the episode based on the profile was set for the downloads for this series or we can click on manual search here and this will do a manual search and then we can basically choose any of these that we want to have it download basically overriding any profile settings that we've put in for this show okay and also we've got a button here where we can search for all of the episodes in the season at once okay so let's go back to series here and if we click onto calendar next this will show us basically what things are coming up which shows are being aired you can see here that game of thrones is being aired on monday at 2 a.m that's uk time by the way and if i go across to the next week game of thrones again and again so we've got three episodes of Game of Thrones left until that season ends. Okay, so that's it. That's Sonar set up. It's a great PVR. Definitely the best one in my opinion. It's great because you can have it upgrade any shows you've got downloaded in SD to HD, etc. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Um, if you did, then please, as always, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel. Anyway guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.